Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this cool electric pulse effect right here. So we're gonna create this effect all in Premiere Pro, and it, it creates a neat, very customizable effect um, that you can sort of use however you want in a lot of different scenarios. So let's get started. First things first is I import this footage. I grabbed this footage off of Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you pay a monthly fee and you get a near unlimited amount of stock footage. So we're gonna begin by taking this and then duplicating it. I'm holding the Option and or Alt key to duplicate this up. And now we're gonna start applying some effects here. What we wanna do first is go to Find Edges and then Invert that effect. We're putting everything on the top um, layer here. We want to also go to the, the blending mode and go to screen. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to basically just find the edges of this footage, and that's going to allow us to create this effect. We then want to go and find the tint effect, and we want to grab a tint color. We want to map the white to a tint color of whatever we want. You can do a blue, a yellow. If you're doing something else, you can be red. Like This effect is very applicable. In this particular case, I'm going to go with a yellow, sort of like an electrical yellow here. And you can see now we have that sort of yellow tint to everything. We're then going to want to add a little bit of glow to this. So we're going to look for an effect called VR Glow. And this is a free one. You can download plugins to, to use Glow and it might look better. But I'm just going to go with free ones for this. So we're going to add that in. It adds just a little bit of a glow. And you can manipulate this around a little bit if we wanted, for example, a little brighter on the glow, which might actually look kind of cool with what we're trying to create. We can do that. We can also animate it as it comes up, which we will do later. The next effect that we want to do is we want to apply the Turbulent Displace. The reason we want to do this is it will create a little bit of energy. Um, you're going to see that we get this effect, uh, where it says this effect requires GPU acceleration. To fix that, just grab Turbulent Displace and bring it above VR Glow, and that'll go away. We do not want these giant waves. We want tiny little waves. So we're going to go around to maybe like 15 maybe even less here, like eight or so. And then the size, the amount as well, we can bring that down a touch. What we wanna do is we just wanna add a little bit of, um, a little bit of energy to this. Uh, make it the, these waves just a little bit, uh, have, like I said, a little bit of electrical energy. So once we find a good place to do this, I'm gonna say around 15 here will look pretty good. It, like I said, it just adds a little bit of energy as they come up and then go down. Now to actually animate it coming up and going down, we can do a couple of different ways. We could affect the brightness or we could animate the edges blending with the original in and out. But what we wanna do instead is we want to use an effect called extract. So if we grab this effect and we bring it on over, we wanna take extract and we're gonna bring it all the way up to the top here. So we're gonna drag it all the way up to the top above even find edges. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is we can animate these values right here to sort of have it come in and then out. So you can see that if I use this white input down here, it actually creates this cool like patterned effect where it comes in and then it goes across and then we can animate it downwards. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start at the zero, move forward, let's say five, maybe six or seven frames right here. And then we're going to bring this up so that it kind of goes to its extreme value right here. And then we're gonna bring this up. And now we can either undo this so we can bring this backwards. So we move forward, let's go with five frames or seven frames as well. So there's zero, seven, and then 14. So we can either bring this all the way back and let's take a look at how that looks. So that might not be, it's kind of a weird inside out pulsing. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it all the way up and then we're actually just gonna lower the opacity as we move forward. So we can take the opacity of this entire top clip and animate it downwards as we move forward. That's seven clips. See, that looks way better. So now what we have is this really neat effect where it looks like there's an electrical burst that sort of even goes along the edges of the building here, which is uh, giving a really, really neat sort of view. So there we go. We've created this really neat electrical buzz sort of effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. With this effect, we can really manipulate all of these settings to make it look different. Um, you can change the colors around, you can change the tints around, everything. For example, um, this tint color, by the way, we can actually change that around to make it a different color and it'll change the entire effect uh, with it. So there's lots of cool things that we can do with this effect, but we have a really neat base effect going on, so we don't really need to touch it anymore. 
Thanks, everyone. If you have any more questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more of a stimulus one, go ahead and subscribe button. Until next time, everyone, see ya.